Laura Lee, have you studied animal classification in school? Nope. Well, you know some animal classes, I assume. Like yeah, what? Yeah, like mammals, reptiles, amphibians. Right. Okay, that's what you and I are going to do today. We're going to classify a whole group of animals, and they're all going to be live and hidden here in this room and over there. Oh. Okay? And you're going to have to identify them before we reveal what they are by looking at their characteristics. Okay. For example, they're all animals. Mm -hmm. Then there's a whole group. No backbone. Okay, then there are four here now that have different characteristics. In this first Soft case. Soft body and no limbs. And underneath that yellow piece of paper is a picture and okay. the words that identify the animal. Okay. But you can't reveal it until after you've actually identified the animal live here today. Okay, are okay. you ready? Let's take that first one over there. It's over here in this thing. Okay. What could be under there? Could be a snake, but a snake has a backbone. Yeah, so? So it's probably a worm. A worm. Aha. Is it a snake or a worm? It's a worm. It's a worm, an earthworm. Yes. Okay, you were correct. Let's go back okay. and see on the chart. If underneath that picture is no an animal backbone. with no backbone. Soft body and no limbs. Which is then a worm. worm. Okay, you were correct. No Next. backbone, soft body, and a shell. And that's over here on the table underneath that gray box. Well, what could it be? Could be a turtle. A turtle? Does a turtle have a backbone or yes I don't or know. No? You don't know. Well, then I guess you best, you better uncover it very carefully. It's snails. Yes, yeah, a snail. Does not have a backbone, soft body, and a shell, right? Okay, so you see if you uh, agree with scientists when they classify. No backbone, soft body, and a shell. It's a snail. Mm -hmm. Next. No backbone, three part body, and three pairs of legs. Okay, and that's over here under that beaker, which is upside down. See it? Yeah. What could be under there? Uh, I guess it's some kind of insect. Why? Well, because of the number of legs. The number of legs, okay. Carefully, slowly. Okay. Yep. What kind of a... Those are crickets. The crickets, yes. And they're a class called... Insects. Insects, okay. See if you agree with the scientists who have said no backbone. No backbone, three-part body, and three pairs of legs. It's an, it's insect. an insect. Okay, next. No backbone, two part body, and four pairs of legs. And that animal is underneath this pail. And another okay. clue, it's at the other end of this string. I don't know what it could be. Well, then maybe you don't even going to take a guess, just lift the pail up? Yeah. Okay. Carefully, slowly. You gross, it's a tarantula. How many legs? One, two, three. Four on each side. Four on each side. And those two that look like legs in the front are palps that they use to investigate their environment. Oh. What kind of an animal is this? Spider. A spider. Okay. Here, you want to put the pail down on top of them? Can't go wandering around. Okay. Let's see if you are correct. No backbone, two part body, and four pairs of legs. Right. You counted the four pairs, and what is it? Spider. A spider. Very good. Okay, now we're switching from no backbone to what? Backbone, cold blood, and cold warm blood. Cold blood and warm blood. So first in the cold blood column... It breathes underwater and lays eggs. And the animal that does that is over here, underneath this thing right here. What could it be? It could be a fish. Okay, slowly, carefully. You're correct. What kind of fish is it? Goldfish. A goldfish. All right. Okay. Backbone, cold blood, breathes underwater, and lays, lays eggs. Lays eggs. All right. A fish. a fish. Very good. Next. Backbone, cold blood, part of life in water, and lays eggs. And you'll find that animal under the tray over here. Okay. What could it be? Uh, a frog. What, what classification of animal is a frog? An amphibian. Amphibian. Ew. Gross. Gross. Well, you kids use that word gross all the time, but this time it happens to be a quite, ad a, quite a, <laughs> a proper word because gross means big, right? Right. And it's a big what? Toad. A toad, yes. 
sort of a cousin to the frog, right? Yeah. And if you don't mind, I'll cover him up because I don't want him hopping around out here. Okay. So go see if you uh, were correct. You said frog, and it's backbone, cold blood, part of life in water, and lays eggs. Says you frog. You were correct. We're both correct if we, if it had said amphibian, right? Because they're right. both amphibians. Next. Cold blood, breathes air, and lays eggs. Okay. And that animal is over there in the bread box. What do you think it is? Probably a turtle. Okay. Go ahead. Open the bread box. Here. Here he is. What classification of animal is this? It's a reptile. Yeah. So it could have been a snake in there, right? Yeah, I'm glad yeah. it wasn't. Well, snakes are, are interesting animals too, like just like turtles. Okay. So put it back in so he won't wander around the room. Okay. Backbone. Backbone. Cold blood, breeds air, and lays eggs. Okay. It's a turtle. Very good. Okay. Next. Backbone, warm blood, and lays eggs. Well, this is the first time we're in the warm blooded column, right? Right. And lays eggs. And you'll find those animals underneath this cloth. Could be pretty big. Uh, dinosaur? No, not that. Big. I'll give you another clue feathers. Oh, birds. You know what? The only animal that has feathers? Yep. Is a bird. Right. They're Two pretty. Of them, as a matter of fact, yeah. What kind are they? They're Peking robins. Neat. Yeah, aren't they neat? That's a good word for a neat. Okay, so we have one more classification. If you got this one correct, which was backbone, backbone warm blood, and, and lays, lays eggs. eggs. Okay. It's a bird. Bird, correct. Now, notice, by the way, that we've finished with all the back, no backbones, we've finished with all the backbones, warm blood, except for that one. And I told you all the animals were here today live. Right. And we've run out of containers. Well, where could it be? Uncover the picture. That's me. Yes. What kind of an animal are you? A mammal. A mammal, right.